Treeper. Who are you? Luisa. Luisa, super strong from Encanto. And of course, I am here, your rep. Ooh, that was loud. I bet that was really loud on my microphone. Your referee. I thought, what a better costume for October athlete to be I a referee. So, I need the yeah, I don't know what she said. And bingo, too. Come on, puppy, come on. Anyway, we're going to get it done today. If you have weights, keep them close by. If you have a band, we could. Bingo does not have his costume on, but he, who's Bingo going to be? Dogman. Dogman. All right, but we're going to have a good time. Let's say hi to people. Hey, Lindsay First Live. Paula is here. And is, oh, hi to Heather working out in Japan from Anna, Wisconsin. I love it. Lori, this ought to be scary. Spooky, spooky. Janice is here. Hey, everybody. Dolores, Amy. Yes, Destiny. Good to see you, Carmela. Oh, Carmela says, hi, Louisa and Stormtrooper. I don't know why you're being a pouty Stormtrooper. That seems to be a theme with our I Halloween workout. Pouty. Rachel, hi. Happy boo cam. Hi to your littles today. Alicia is here. Angela. Oh my goodness. All right, taking it easy today. Yep, take it easy. Hey, Heather, Reva, everybody's saying great costume. Oh, Bingo's getting a tissue. All right, we're making a mess. All right, we're going to get it done. This is Halloween boot camp. We're going to be working in circuits with some spooky and scary exercises. Olivia is here. We have Denmark in the house. Laura, hello, Ellie. All right, so if you have your weights, keep them close by. We're going to use them for a few things. Mostly, we're just going to be moving our bodies and having a good time. Hey, Chelsea, can you guys say bye? Bye. <laughs> All right, Maya, can you go? Can Louisa, can you say? Oh, thank you for cleaning up the mess that Bingo just made. Natalie is here. Melody from Washington. Deanna, Elizabeth in New Jersey. Oh, good. And Melody has, or Elizabeth has her Halloween workout. If you are wearing a costume, I want to see it. So take a picture, tag me on Instagram, Facebook, or send it to me. I would love to see you working out in costume today. Leah, first time in a while on a live. Sandra just stopped by to say, go get them, body fitters. Excellent. Leslie from Louisville, Kentucky. Did I say that right? Louisville? Not Louisville, right? Uh, Ash from Texas. Rachel is looking forward to Hey, Charlotte. All right, so spooky exercises. We did this last year and the year before. We had a great time doing it. A lot of body weight, but we are adding some weights. So if you have your dumbbells, your kettlebells, if you have a band, we have at least one move that we're gonna throw a band in, if you want. If you don't have any of that, no big deal. It is all about moving and having fun today. This is Skelly, by the way, guys. He was flexing, but the kids really, Oh, there we go. All right, all right. So Skelly Skeleton Scamper is his name. He is here helping us out today. All right, so make sure you have some space to warm up. Jennifer looks forward to this live every year. Yep, we have a good time with it. All right, go ahead, find some space. Start moving your body. <laughs> Leslie says I can pronounce it either way. You know, some friends in Kentucky and they're very specific about how you pronounce it, right? Go ahead and march it here. Let's start rolling those shoulders. All right, so we are going to have a lot of fun today. Jen is gonna do this tomorrow. I love the boot camp from last year. Yeah, so we're gonna see, we will have some similar exercises. I went back and watched my boot camp from last year and the year before, and it seems to be a theme that Kai is a little pouty. <laughs> last year we were, um, we were all Star Wars, and this year, Kai is Star Wars again, and Maya is Luisa from Encanto, and all my dreams of a family costume, whew, have disappeared now that they're older, right? I love doing a full family theme. Take it up right here. Let's do our eyes, Y's, and T to really open up that mobility in the shoulders. Yes! Oh, Charlotte's been working two hours in the garden. Oh my goodness. Heather is here, gonna do it tomorrow. Out right here. Let's go one more. And out, let's take it flat back down. So we're here and round it up. So we have some fun exercises today. Get excited. The name of the game today is to have fun. Normally we do this the last Saturday of the month. Hold it here, roll those shoulders. However, I am out of town next weekend, so there will be no Saturday live workout, but there will be a new release workout, and it is gonna be an athlete party. We've been doing October athlete all month. I think you guys are gonna have a good time with it. It is sports themed. I really should have worn this, but 
I wear a basketball jersey. <laughs> Let's take it here. Squat it down. Roll through that hip. Here we go. Ha! Julia says, boo where you are today. I should have changed, why didn't I think of that? I should have changed our sign. Boo where you are today. Let's take it here. And then little hinge right here. Take it down and bring it up. Woo! Ash, it's her daughter's 10 birthday party. I'm so glad that you came to say hi. Karina can't do the workout now, but wanted to say hi. Woo! Bring it back. One more. Let's tap him back right here. Little taps, so you can reach it here. I'm gonna see how long I make it working out with this whistle. Woo! Maybe I will use it for our starting and our stopping. Take it here, right here. Drop that knee down. Chris says no, because you got a microphone, right? <laughs> Maybe some of you are watching college football today. See me on the field. Take it out right here if you can. Take it down, reach it up. Drop that knee. And breathe. And then take it other side right here. Drop it down, knee, reach. These socks are gonna get hot fast, I feel like. Woo! Good, take it to that high plank, cross those knees across. Yes. And then little child's pose. Pop it forward in the plank. Child's pose. Couple more just like this, and then we're gonna get right into it, team. One more. Walk it back, round it up. Uh, let's take it right here. All right, so here's what we got. Woo! Oh, Dixie's going apple picking. That sounds amazing and beautiful. Enjoy. All right, take it over your head right through here. All right, so we have three quick circuits that we're gonna go two times through. 40 seconds of work your first time, 50 seconds of work your second time, right? We're gonna keep it interesting, keep it fun. Let's take it here. So, again, the name of the game, as always, is to just keep moving. They're themed, they're fun. If something doesn't feel right for you, just move or just do something that you know, all right? So, your very first move, grab a sip of water. Ooh, not that guy. I put my water over here. <laughs> Listen, guys. My six-year-old really wanted to get this. We bought it and, every, and now it's on our porch, but for a while it was just hanging out in our living room every time it scared me. Vivian is here. I'm gonna do this tomorrow morning. Okay, so if you have a heavy weight, I'm gonna use a kettlebell and a goblet form, and if you have a band. If you don't have either, no big deal. We're gonna do a monster squat. So maybe you've seen this before. We do this sometimes with our mini bands. We're here, we're going up and back, a little monster walk, right? So the game, name of the game is to stay low. If you want, I'm gonna put this above my knees to get a little extra of that abduction and then I'm gonna hold a weight in the center. It is up to you. You can keep it just body weight or just have this. Are we ready? Yeah, Kurt's gonna kill me if I do that, but I'm gonna do it on this first one. All right, so whatever you got, just stay low, it's moving at that diagonal. If that's not right for you, you can just keep it stationary. Let's get it done. In five, four, three, two. See, I can do it quiet, right? Maybe go up for three, then take it back. Back and back. Then you can come up in between, or if you're really wanting to feel the burn, you can keep it down the whole time, right? Take it up, take it up, take it up. Whoo, burn. Take it back, take it back. Yes, Kim finally made it to a live. So good to see you here. Welcome, Kim. Whoo, monster squat. Yes, you got three, two, one. Finish it out, burn, right? Oh, okay. Take that off, grab one weight, meet me down on the mat. We're gonna do a Spider-Man row. So one heavy weight. It's your plank row, but here's what we got. We're here, and then we're bringing it in. So you can do that Spider-Man here, or just bring the knee in like a spider. Here we go, 40 seconds, take off. Bring it up, bring it up. Here, you can just do here, if that's better. Row, spider, 
row, spider, or again, if you wanna have that Spider-Man shoot your webs, you can do that too. You can also just be on your knees or standing row, whatever is better for you. And breathe, ha, yes. Spider row. A lot of times we do spider push-up or spider plank, but I wanted to make sure we got that row in. Relax, bring it up. No, keep it down. One more from this. Let's take it to a dead bug, right? Classic Halloween exercise and you know, classic core. So you can just tap it down or you can extend it out, whatever is best for you. Tilt that pelvis in, zip up the core. Here we go. Take it out. Ooh, sorry, here we go. All right, I won't do that on everyone. All right, we're moving quickly. So I really want you to take this time to focus in that core, right? Tilt the pelvis in, bring the hips and ribs together. Make sure that those ribs are stacked right above your pelvis. And then think about closing the core, right? Dead bug, spooky, cause it's dead, right? Surprise, we're also gonna have a dead lift in this workout. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up onto your feet, team. We're gonna put that band on again. We're doing all of that again. Woo! Here we go. Ha. Let's take it back to that monster squat walk. Let's get it done. This time is 50 seconds. Here we go. Here, here. Oh, Kim has been going through cancer. Oh, I'm so glad you're able to keep moving every day. Wow, so inspiring. Whew, thank you for sharing that with us. We're rooting for you, and I'm glad you can keep moving. Take it up right here. Boom, ah, burn, legs. Did I mention round two is a little bit longer, right? Ha, step out. Monster walk, breathe. 10 seconds, ha, ha. I'm gonna make spooky sounds, but it's just me breathing heavy and relax. All right, take it into that plank row, which is that spider plank row. 50 seconds. Remember, you can be on your knees. Two, three, two, one. You got row. Bring it in. You got row. Bring it in. If you wanna bring that knee up, whoo, you can. Ha. You can also just bring it here. So this works. Bring it in, whoo, here, spider. Huh. I'm already sweating. Let me just tell you, this referee jersey is not very breathable. Keep it moving. You got 15 seconds. Shoot those webs. Keep it controlled, I know you're tired. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Maybe you're not tight. Maybe you're pushing through this. But let's take it down onto your back, right here. Dead bug, tilt the pelvis, take it out. Here we go, last 50 seconds. And breathe. Yes, you can, right here. These circuits are gonna go by quick. You're gonna have a good time with it. So use this round again to center your breath. Here to here, yes you can. Connect with that deep core. Keep that pelvis tucked. If you're starting to feel that arch in the back, readjust, pull everything in together. And again, opposite arm, opposite leg, close the core. 10 seconds, opposite arm, opposite leg, Close the core. Yes, you can. And breathe. Three, two, one. Hug them in, up onto your feet. Team, yes. Quick sip of water. Ooh, gosh. I'm gonna do that every time. Every time I turn, he scares me. All right, team, this is what we got. We got a Frankenstein lunge. The first time we're gonna go right side and left side for the full 40. Hey, Elizabeth is here. 
Elizabeth and Mike. Woo! Maybe it's just you, but hopefully you do this later with the family. Frankenstein lunge, you're gonna step it back. Arms stay out the whole time. You're gonna kick it forward. Right side, then left side full 40 seconds. Then we're taking it down for a superhero and a witch's brew. Go ahead and join me here. Zip up that core. Arms are gonna stay out the whole time. I think you're gonna feel it. Here we go. Frankenstein lunge. Take it up. If you want, you can hold a weight, but I think just by holding your hands out the whole time, you're gonna feel it. Woo! And breathe. Drop it low, controlled. Again, pull those shoulders back. Arms are out, but make sure you're not rounding. Really pull them back, and we're here. Push through that front heel. Yes. Take it down. Take it up. Yes, team. Drive through that front heel. Are you feeling those arms, especially if you're pulling those shoulders back and keeping those arms straight out, nice and tight. We got five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out, right? Harder than it looks. Frankenstein lunge again, other side. We got 40 seconds, lunge it back. Here we go, let's jump right in. Kick it forward, if that's not right for you, of course. You can do it, man, you guys, he freaks me out. I can't look at him, here we go. You can just do a tap or you can do all of this, keeping the leg and the arms low. It's up to you. Whoo, keep it moving. Halfway there. Julie just ran us a 10K walk on the beach. That's amazing. Gonna do it tomorrow. Thank you for my decorations. 10 seconds. These are currently on our front, the front of our house on our porch, but we brought them in just for y'all today. Five, four, three, two, what, right? Aren't you surprised at how much you feel your shoulders? All right, so superhero hold. So like that Superman, we're gonna work our back if you need to modify. I just want you here in that bird dog, but really center it. If you can take it down, superhero, drop it down. Superhero, drop it down. Let's get it down for 40 seconds. You don't have to get super high, but zip up that core, lift for the back and the arms and the glutes, here we go, lift it up, drop it down. Superhero, if you really want that Superman, put that arm out, right? Or lift, and down. Modification again is that bird dog. You can also do this from a kneeling or a standing if you just wanna squeeze and take it down. Lift, remember standing is always an option. If you're someone who can't be down on the mat, you can always take things standing. Just find the movement, right? Squeeze in your back, take it down. Lift and breathe. You got five, four, three, two, one. Nice team. All right, grab a weight. Excuse me, Skelly. All right, witches brew. We are right here. So just like it sounds, if you need to modify, just keep it seated. You're going around, stir the cauldron. If you can, we're gonna bring those feet up. Join me in three, two, one, take off, which is brew. Here we go. What I really want is for you to think about stirring the pot, hold it on one side, tight in that core and that oblique and in your back. Hold it on one side. You can do this with no weight. You can do this with your weights. You can keep your heels down if that gives you more stability or you can bring them up right here. Woo, Skelly is keeping an eye on me. I know. Take it around, stir the cauldron. 10 seconds, arms, abs, yes. Breathe, five, four, three, two, one. Ha! Huh. All right, team, back up onto your feet. Here's what we got. This time we're splitting it up. We got 25 seconds, 25 seconds of our Frankenstein lunge. If you want, you can take it to a curtsy. That's what I'm gonna do. Take it here, arms out. 25 and 25 with about five seconds in between to switch. Let's get it done in three, two, arms out. Here we go, Frankenstein, curtsy or regular. Bring it up and kick. Take it back. Bring it up and kick. Yes, you can. And up. And here. Take it here. And up. And breathe. Find that balance. You got it, team. One more. Keep those arms right up there. Let's take it. Other side right here. Down. 
and lift. Take them out. Whew. Frankenstein arms, but nice and tight. Pull those shoulders back. Keep the shoulders and that upper body working. Here. And up. Yes, team. 10 seconds. Get low to high. Ha. And here. Breathe. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Super hero. All right, we're taking it with that lift. Let's add a little push up to it. So you can go bird dog and bird dog and push it up here or take it down. Superman, pop it up. Yes, Superman, pop it up. Join me, here we go. Superman, hold. Bring those elbows in. Push up from the toes or the knees. Slowly down. Superman, hold. Elbows in. Remember, knees works too. Take it up. Power it up. Keep it going. Bring those elbows at about that 45 degree angle. Not out here, not in here, about here. So we get triceps, we get chest and shoulders, and we get a lot of back, right? A lot of upper body on this round, and of course, that core. Push it up, 50 seconds. Lift it up, right here. Hey, Mariah, you might be watching some football today with someone like me in this outfit. Whew. Five seconds. Gonna get it in tomorrow. Squeeze and up. Three, two, one. Stretch it back. Grab your weight or no weight. Get set up for that witch's brew. Again, if you need to do it standing or seated, we're gonna stir the cauldron. We're gonna get the core and the upper working for 50 seconds. It's long, so if you need that little stretch, get that stretch right here. Three, two, one. Take it here. Remember, you're gonna tuck it in that hip. Squeeze in the back. So you've got shoulders and arms and back. And of course, abs. If you wanna lean back a little, you can. If you wanna bring those feet up and alternate those knees, that works too. Whatever gives you the best form and you really feel that core staying in place, control, that might be with heels down. Oftentimes, I feel better keeping my heels grounded because I can get more range of motion. So it is up to you. Whatever you got, feet up, feet down, but stir the pot and pull in tight. Yes, cast in the spill. And breathe. Ha, yes. Five, four, three, two, one, two. Circuits down. Hey, Lisa, Emma is here, but she's on mommy duty. Catch your breath, quick. Sip. Why do I keep doing that and turning to him? I guess because that's where I always put my water bottle, but every time I turn, I'm startled. All right, so here we go, team. Catch your breath. We got one more round. All right, so we're taking it to our favorite deadlift. You can go two dumbbells, you can go kettlebell. Same thing as the lunge where we're gonna go first round full 40 seconds. Second round, we're gonna split it up. So either your kickstand, or all the way up, deadlift, right? I'm gonna go two heavy dumbbells to start, then I'm gonna switch it to my kettlebell. We're starting with that, then we're going down for a skull crusher for triceps, and then we're doing a little roll up like a vampire. So get set up, you can always also just do a regular deadlift, but if you can kickstand, here we go. Kickstand right here, full 40 seconds. Four down, and up, down, Drive through that front heel, slight bend in the knees. Shoulders are packed, meaning pulling them back. Core's engaged. That's too much. Take it here, right? Down and up. Woo! Down and up. Yes, team! All the way through 10 seconds. Julie says, stop making me laugh during ab exercises. I get it. Five, four, Three, two, one, shake it up. Little stretch, I love it. Ha, ah, that's my goal. I want this workout to be enjoyable for you. All right, so get set up. Remember, you can just take regular deadlift. You can have it here, or you can bring it up. In three, two, deadlift, here we go. Bring it up, I know. You can tell, a few of these exercises are no your normal titles, right? Like a deadlift a dead bug, a skull crusher, but because of what they're called, we're putting them in this spooky Halloween workout. 
I gotta catch my breath and find my balance, guys. I'm gonna take it to kickstand. So I know when you're moving fast in a workout, remember I would much rather you give yourself balance or take a second to get your form than to try to push through. I know we don't get a ton of rest, so we can get you in and out, but you gotta make sure you keep that good form. Five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it out. All right, team, two medium dumbbells or one heavy. We're going skull crusher. So that's just our tricep extension, where if you wanna take it standing, if that feels better for you, you can. Otherwise, those elbows are in, just like it sounds, skull crusher. One dumbbell between two hands or two dumbbells. Here we go. So here, bring it up, skull crusher. We got triceps, back of the arms, yes. If you want, you can add that bridge to it. Those glutes and hamstrings might be tired, but that's an option if you wanna add, or feet and tabletop to get a little extra core. Sweating like crazy over here, guys. Keep it going. Woo. Set this out, right? And breathe. Take it down and up. Clock is ticking. I told you this workout would go fast and that you'd have a good time with it. Down and up. Last one. And boom. Wait to the side. We are going to take it whew, with what I call a vampire roll up or corpse roll up, right? So, vampire's coming out of the coffin. Bring it up. Fold it over. So it's just your Pilates roll up. If you want a little extra, you can pull out with that band here. Shoulders at the top, but that is optional. If that doesn't feel right for you, you just go halfway back. Let's get it done in three, two, one. Corpse roll up, vampire roll up. Little stretch at the top, straightening the spine all the way down. Deep core. Oh, spooky. And breathe out of the coffin, using your core, of course. I'm sure that's what every vampire and corpse is thinking. I gotta use my core to get out of this coffin. Take it over. 10 seconds. Again, if you wanna push out on those shoulders. Can we get last one right here? Bring it up, fold it over and relax. All right, team, we got everything one more time. We're gonna split up our deadlifts with 25 and 25. So I'm gonna take it to kettlebell, kickstand, or one leg. But either way, let's get it done. You've got 25 seconds on the right, 25 seconds on the left. Three, two, get set up. Shoulders back, here we go. Take it down, kickstand, or one leg. Deadlift, so scary. Woo! And breathe. Down and up. Down and up. Ha! Last one. Other side right here. Get set up into that leg. Three, two, one. Squeeze in the glutes. One leg or kickstand, deadlift, and up. Drive up through that heel, and breathe. Keep it moving, you got this, team. Take it here, and up. Five, four, three, two, one. Stretch out those hamstrings. Let's get ready, skull crusher. One dumbbell or one kettlebell. I'm actually gonna go kettlebell this time but you can go dumbbell, kettlebell. You got 50 seconds skull crusher. If you don't feel comfortable holding those weights over your head, you can do a close grip press. Let's get it done. Here we go. Take it down and up. I'm gonna add the bridge, but it's up to you. If you want some extra glutes and hamstrings and core, you can. If you want some extra core, you can keep that tabletop. Take it down. Bring it up. Yes, team. Woo! Here to here, ha, all the way up, right here, yes, extend up through those triceps, feel everything working to stabilize around those triceps, 10 seconds to go, I know 50 seconds is a long time, 
Well, you're strong, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one, boom! All right, Team Vampire, roll up again with or without that band if you want. If you want to add a little extra to it, you can bring it up. Bring that knee in right through there. 50 seconds, core, halfway back all the way with or without the knee. Here we go, roll it up. Take it back down, little press out on that band is gonna keep the upper body working. If you want, add that knee in, slowly down. Whoo, bring it up, slowly down. Take it up, and down. All the way through. Deep core, pull that ribs in, hips in, tuck the pelvis. Really pull through the center, not using momentum. Take it all the way through. Three, two, one. Stretch it out, yes, team. All right, you know what? Why not? Let's throw in a bonus move or two. We have kettlebells out, we don't have any swings yet. I don't know what a swing could be. Maybe you can tell me in the comments. Think of something spooky. Let's do a spooky swing. 30 seconds, if you've never done a swing before, just keep it with that deadlift. Otherwise, 30 second swing, shoulders back. Here we go, prep it for three, two, one. Power it up, let it drop. All the way up, ha. Yes, drive up and through. Remember, push into those feet, shoulders back. It's hard to do this at the end of the workout because I know we're tired. Maybe you're feeling that core, but use that as a reason to really zip up that core as you lock out glutes and hamstrings. 10 seconds, breathe and breathe. Hup. Hup. Three, two, one, swing and relax. All right, team, how about a real bonus move? We got just enough time. Give yourself some space. Here's what we got, team. <laughs> We're gonna go trick or treat. Take it out, get that candy, bring it back. Take it out, get that candy, bring it back. Then boo burpee, drop it down, pop it back, and then I want your best ghost. Bring it up, yes, you can. I know that's a lot if you wanna just pick one. Trick or treat, get your candy, bring it in. Boo burpee. In three, two, one, here we go. Trick or treat, get the candy, bring it in. Whew. And up, boo burpee, take it back, bring it in. Best ghost, there we go, pick them up. Ha, and up, yes, and up. Take it down, pop it back, in. Whoo! Make it scary. Down and up. Down and up. Top. Take it back. Boo burpee. Yes! Here we go. We are so close, team. I know you're tired. And up. Pop it back. Pop it in. Let's go. 10 seconds more. Down. And up, down, and up. Boo burpee. You did it. Grab some water. No, no. <laughs> this side. Give your skeleton a high five. We did it. How do we feel, team? Woo! Victoria's gonna do this later. Love the costume. Ha! Ah. I know, I can't believe either, Paula, that I made it with my whistle. It actually stays in place. You know, these, this is like a, this is not a costume, this is a real referee shirt. And they have this little hook that I guess you're probably supposed to put your whistle through. <sighs> Roll those shoulders. All right, team. That felt like a madhouse or a haunted house in the best way, right? We kept moving, we got through it, we had fun. We cover all of our bases. You know when I'm programming these workouts, my goals are to get you moving, to give you options, to keep your heart rate up, to keep your muscles working, to get 
all of our major muscle groups, right? Our lower body, our glutes, our chest, our shoulders, our back, our arms, and to work in all of our planes of motion, all of our regular movement patterns, right? So I think we covered it, even though a lot of it was non-traditional. Bring it back right here. Did you have fun? Yes, Ellie, right on cue, right as I said, did you have fun? She writes so much fun. Oh, thank you, Janice, for joining. Again, if you wore a costume or you have costumes and you're doing this later, please send me a picture, tag me on social media or send it to me, I love seeing them. Let me know if you're okay if I share it. I won't if you don't want me to. Hey, Lisa, I'm so glad you liked it. I hear some kids out there. Mel, thank you. Go ahead and bring one foot up if you can and grab that quad. Otherwise, just tilt your hip forward, take that other arm back. Whoo, I'm sweating y'all and I'm tired. Whoo, all the way through. Other side, bring it here, tilt. I hope everybody had so much fun with this and that you will get ready to rock out one last week of October Athlete, Athlete 2.0. I am so proud of all of you. Erin says, good grief, I did that with two puppies crawling. Oh my goodness. Julie Gold met. Yes, Lori, Lindsay, I'm so glad. Lori loved it. Ghoulishly good, thank you. <laughs> Melanie said I was expecting you to blow the whistle and call a foul. Yep, I know, I thought about it. <laughs> oh man, all right, so we have a few minutes if you wanna stay and hang out. Let's get a quick little hamstring stretch. Natalie wants to know what Kurt's costume is. Well, we're not sure about actual Halloween. We have a couple of uh, couple options that we might do. Couples costumes. Thank you guys for all your great suggestions. Um, so make sure you're following me on Instagram, on Facebook, or we'll probably post it here too, so you see um, what we do. Yeah, maybe he just needs to be an athlete, right? And I can just blow the whistle on him. Woo! All right, Amanda. Oh, your two-year-old had to get in on the workout. Rachel, thank you so much. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your Halloween boot camp workout. Great job, everybody. Woo! All right, if you have time to hang out for a couple minutes, we will chat for a minute. If you have any quick questions, uh, Olivia, I think had questions about tailbone pain. So that could be a variety of things. Um, sometimes if you've had a fall or if maybe you did something like a cycling class or a spin class or cycling outside. Um, otherwise, there could be some other things that you may want to check with your doctor. If it's not going, if it's truly in the bone, it could be um, something else going on. So it may be worth checking with your doctor. If it's not going, getting better with stretching, like a piriformis stretch, which would be all those muscles, the glute muscles around the tailbone. Otherwise, you might wanna check and see if it's something else. Obviously, I always defer to your doctor, but um, if it's been there for over a month, probably worth, even if you just did like a, um, an online appointment to talk through it, there's some other causes. Not nothing, you know, not to scare you or anything, but um, usually if it doesn't go away, away with stretching or with time and it's around the tailbone and not in the glutes or the hips or those muscles, then it might not be exercise related. So um, it could be something too that you get a referral to a physical therapist and you get some work through that. So um, Carmela, have a beautiful weekend too. Thank you. Great skeleton workout, Alicia. I love Elosius. Uh, there we go. Lisa, thank you. Ah, oh, Leah wants to know, can you give us a sneak peek? of what is to come for November and December. You know what, I will. I will give you a sneak peek because it is coming up in a week. So this November, we are doing no repeat November. So get excited, you'll be hearing more about it this month. So a lot of you love the no repeat workouts um, because obviously they tend to go really quick. And if you're someone who gets bored easily in workouts, it's a great way to do it. So we thought, why not have a whole challenge? So your November challenge is gonna be no repeat. Obviously, you know that my workout calendar is no repeat to begin with. You get a different workout every single day, but all of your workouts are gonna be no repeat. So I think that's gonna be a good time 
You will have some formats in there, like a Tabata, like a pyramid, things that normally repeat, but this time they won't. Um, so uh, if you guys have followed my workouts, you know a lot of times we'll do circuits, but they'll be adding on. So circuit two, we add something on. Circuit three, we add something on. So don't think that they're all gonna be flows where everything just goes, goes, goes. I know some people don't love that type, but we're gonna be giving you options within some of your traditional formats that you know but taking them no repeat. So I think you'll have a good time with it. And then of course we are bringing back our original challenge, our most popular challenge, holiday hit. So we will start that the Monday after Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving here in the US, which is the, the last Thursday of November. We will be starting holiday hit. Um, I believe it is five weeks to get us into the new year. We have so much fun with holiday hit. It was our original challenge um, before we started the Body Fit Athletic Club when we really brought this um, body fit community together at the end of 2020. So it's a really great time. And I'll also tell you that all of your holiday hit challenge, we're going to go back to those shorter workouts. I'm not going to, you know, give myself a time frame, but think of those 25 to 30 minute workouts. We're going to keep them short because we know the holidays get busy. So get excited about that. So we have no repeat coming up and we have holiday hit get excited all right more info coming soon make sure that you are subscribed to that newsletter make sure that you're following my social media and you will get all the information so um yay Ferco loves in mexico loves the october athlete so glad all right charlotte i'm so glad that was feeling good thank you amy feeling it everywhere um, Olivia has a question <laughs> about the lower abs yes i know i think we talked about this so if you have had children, if you've been through pregnancies, a lot of times it's going back to basics with that postnatal stuff, even if, you're, um, if your kids are older. So the TA breathing, the um, deep core and pelvic floor, all of the things to just really realign our breathing, what happens to a lot of us, whether or not we've been through pregnancies or um, had babies, but a lot of things in life tend to kind of pull us forward or push us into what we call an anterior pelvic tilt, where that lower ab kind of pushes out. Also what happens, and this happens a lot in pregnancy, but sometimes again, through things in life, like sitting at our computers or looking at our phones, is we end up backwards breathing, inhale up, exhale down. Where's that air going? It's all going down in that lower ab. So that's when we often get what people call the little pooch, right? So learning how to breathe, inhale out, exhale in, all of that is gonna help, and then taking that into your workouts. So if we are not super aware, and Olivia, I know you're very consistent, but um, taking things even slower in that core work will really help and revisiting that postnatal core work and that TA breathing. Also posture is everything. So posture, breathing, alignment, that is everything when it comes to that core, especially after babies. So Lindsay just joined the BAC, I'm so glad. So in case you missed it, the Body Fit Athletic Club, that is our um, exclusive community. Obviously everything on YouTube is staying the same. You still can get that workout calendar if you're on the email list and so make sure you're on the email list. You can still participate in the challenges. But if you wanna take it to the next level, if you want guidance from me, your personal trainer, from Vivian, your body fit dietitian, the athletic club is where you wanna be. We have moved off of Facebook. We still have our Facebook group, the show up and keep moving, which is the free one. And we still have the athletic club for now, but we have moved on to our own platform through my website and coming soon within the next few weeks, we will have the body fit by Amy app. So if you want to be in our private community, the body fit athletic club, that is the place to be. It is just where you get that more personalized support and you get this incredible community to keep you consistent. I think I would say that's the number one thing we hear from people in the community is that it's the most consistent they've been. And that is a combination of all the things that is the structure of the workout calendar. That is the check-ins, the weekly live events that Vivian and I host covering nutrition topics and fitness topics and taking your questions live. Um, and if you can't make it live, you can always watch replays or you submit your questions ahead of time. Um, but I think that accountability, that consistency, most of the people in the athletic club have said it's the most excited they've been about working out in a long time and they look forward to it and it's the most consistent they've been. So that's what I love about. Thank you, Carmela. Lots of our athletic clubbers are here today and I love when they can, they can affirm this for you all that it's a really great community. So join us if you can, Lindsay. I'm so glad that you're here. Um, yay, Megan can't wait for no repeat. Chelsea, so good to see you slowly getting back into working out after taking a break. 
I'm so glad that you could join it too. Yes, keep up with strength and endurance. Deborah, let's see. Um, what's the longest length we should go in our longest video? So I have a couple videos that are in that 55 minute range, just under an hour. Um, if you guys have followed me for a while, you know that's kind of my thing, right? My thing is that we're all busy and I wanna make it as time efficient as possible but I also wanna make it effective. So if you're someone who's used to taking classes or doing, you know, my, my sessions with personal training clients are 50 minutes or 55 minutes or a full hour. So listen, there's nothing wrong with that as long as you listen to your body and that you're varying things and you're not doing too much of the same back to back to back. Um, but for what I do here on YouTube, um, I think we're all super busy. In the athletic club, a nice perk is that you get a weekly calendar that includes 10 minute bonus burns. So if you want that little extra at the end of a 30 or 35 minute workout, you have it right there. So that's a little perk of the athletic club. Obviously you guys know I have tons of 10 minute workouts too that are good add-ons, but I have several workouts that are in the 40 to 45 to 50 minute range, but um, I don't go over an hour on here because I just think it's, you know, that's a lot, that's a lot for your body. Um, some people do it really well, some people are really used to it, but most of us, a lot of us don't have the time for that, so I don't want you to feel like you have to work out that long and really beat, uh, beat down your body to see results. You can get it in, in 30 minutes. All right, team, let's see. Oh, thank you, Charlotte, such a great community. Anybody have any other um, questions? Put them in the chat right now. I'll scroll up and see if I, missed anything um and again just want to let you know next saturday no live workout but there will be a new release and it is the october athlete party it's going to be sports themed it's a lot of fun i think you'll find it similar to this where it's just moving we'll be using weights if you've got them um but just fun sports themed circuits to get your body moving and feel good so great saturday workout so all right team thank you so so much deborah loves the two move circuits four minute yes right awesome i'm so glad all right team so have a great weekend thank you for indulging me with this fun halloween boot camp and i will see you next time let's crush week four of athlete 2.0 have a great weekend everybody